normally I make films about gardening but as I know many of you not only have your own channels or would like to have a channel or have gardens that you'd maybe like to film I thought today I'd make something about how I film and take you behind the camera now this is not the camera that I use this is the camera that I began with and the system that I started with using a tripod like this and this is my wife's camera and it really does nice quality video but ultimately this system is quite slow to work with so what I've developed Samuel is a much quicker system uh, much quicker to set up than a tripod and really adapted to the outdoor environment and working in gardens veggie gardens wherever it suits it absolutely so the key component of the system I now use is a garden fork it's so much easier to put into place and this camera ring the heart of it is a GoPro but using the alligator clip and it's really simple to set it up and get into position and then you can begin filming very quick and easy to carry around the other advantages are that this unit can be connected in a wide variety of situations in the greenhouse you can connect it to uh, the structure you can hook it to branches off trees really anything that's available it can be connected to so today this is our bit corn that's growing big leaves but one that's growing a bit fast is this one it has long bigger leaves than all of them so I found it a really simple system to work with and also the fact that it's being a GoPro it's designed to be used underwater it means that it is more dust proof uh, weather proof you don't have to be as concerned if you're gardening and have dirty hands it doesn't really matter so let's take it indoors and disassemble it and I'll show you the actual components that I actually have in this rig so here I've taken it all apart so you can see the individual components as I said the heart of the unit is a GoPro Hero 6. It's a, a good little camera. But look, the one issue that I have with this is that the native audio on it is really terrible. And if it defaults to that, it makes it, you sound as if you're underwater, even if you're not. So to achieve better sound, you have to use this crazy adapter that GoPro have. Now the latest GoPro I believe has a better designed adapter that fits over it and would be simpler than this. Because I use this pretty much all the time, I have taken the little door off, I'm not using it underwater. Now to case that I've actually got a aluminium case and these cases come with the cold shoe which is really good so that you can mount the microphone now this is a, a Rode micro uh, a good little non-powered mic and this particular case has a sliding back door on it that holds the camera in place nice and simple you'll notice I've got a piece of aluminium here that I've added in because when the mic is mounted if the cold shoe is directly down here the windsock tends to hang into the picture so stepping it up that little bit got it out of the picture and gave a better result overall another factor of this case is that you're able to put a filter into it simply protects the GoPro a little bit more keeps it cleaner it makes it easier to maintain and also allows you to have a cover over that and that means that when you're not actually filming you've got things cleaner than it otherwise would be which is really important in a garden situation 
So we'll just drop the little GoPro into that and this, I might have to take this off before I slide it in, slides in the back. A little bit tight there because I miscalculated the position on here when I was putting it together. Put the mic on. Now, as I say, this ridiculous adapter which goes in there. I've used a piece of adhesive Velcro on the case and on the adapter just to lock it into place and this will wrap around and plug in. Now the only issue that I have is that sometimes because you plug this in and out for charging purposes if it's not plugged in properly then you don't get uh, correct audio coming through and you'll get the GoPro audio which is really terrible and then this component now you can buy these uh, as genuine GoPro units but you'll pay five times more than an aftermarket one I bought this on eBay, uh, I think it was around $14, $15. And look, it's been fairly robust and worked quite well. It's just a, a standard GoPro mount on top and you should just, yep, just pops in, locks in, and you can put that rubber piece down to lock it in place and it's ready to go. Because GoPro have good digital image stabilization, you can use it handheld for a lot of shots. You can also turn it around and use it for selfie filming uh, where it does quite well even if you're walking it's often surprising how well it does. So in terms of the actual settings that I use on the GoPro really there's only a couple of things. One is that I use 1080. I don't really play around with uh, 4K or anything like that. It's quite adequate for particularly for YouTube. I also use linear instead of a wide angle I think it gives a, a better result picture wise and the other setting that's important is in the preferences because I'm using the Rode Micro the audio setting that I've found works and this took a little bit of experimenting is a standard mic plus not the standard mic the standard mics okay if you're actually right in front of the camera but if you've got any distance you need the boost that comes with a standard mic plus uh, of course if you were using a powered mic you would need to go to the powered mic the other thing to note is that you can't use Wi-Fi control with this Rode Micro it tends to create some interference which is really really annoying on your mic so that's the settings that I use on this little GoPro rig look I found it really good and simple Yes, it would be nicer with perhaps the newest GoPros which would have the better audio adapter units. This is a little annoying but the fact that it's a robust camera has a good quality and really suits the environment of gardening and general homestead life whether you're using a chainsaw or whatever you're doing this is reasonably robust to deal with it. So hopefully this has been of some use to you and some benefit. Next time I'll probably be back with a gardening video.